Greetings, welcome to Better Bachelor. My name is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. Um, you know, I was a mixed mind whether to do this or not because uh, we have a stodgy old gentleman and a young influencer and um, he decided he's had enough of these influencers shooting videos in the park. People are tired of this stuff and uh, this older gentleman is just like, you know what, all you young people thinking that you're Hollywood movie stars and you're important, I don't care. And I think this is uh, kind of apropos to, to much of what we see today, which is if you don't agree with something, if you don't like something, just stop participating in it. Stop supporting it. Stop allowing it to continue and just just be a pain in the in the backside, shall we say. Uh, so this influencer went viral. I mean, she's this got, uh, I want to say, several million views and thousands and thousands of upvotes. And a lot of, most of people are just like, yeah, I, I kind of see where he's coming from. Like, I'm just kind of done with this stuff. I thought this would be a fun video. You're going to have to read along because I, I put this into my sound editor. I tried to remove as much background noise and uh, uh, cringe music as I could. So, But it's a little bit hard to hear, but you can read along because somebody actually subbed over this so i'm gonna play through this and you can see that this just this guy's just not having it anymore hi guys so i've just been for my morning run so i just ran 5k today so i've been eating healthy staying hydrated but it's a bit hard and it's cold <coughs> these mornings but um now uh, before we get too deep into this uh, many have posted <clears throat> that this guy actually goes around and will purposefully put himself in these shots uh, that, that supposedly, now again, I, I have no way to corroborate this. I've looked around, I can't find any of his information, but many have said, oh, um, we've seen this guy before in other, or the voice, because they, they blurred the, uh, the video here. They said, oh, I recognize his voice. He's been in other videos and he does this all the time. He purposefully goes and interrupts live streams or whatever, just to, just to be a jerk because because he thinks it's funny and i have to agree with him that it actually turned out very funny so keep that in mind if you're if you're kind of thinking to yourself like well why doesn't he just go someplace else i think he's doing this to troll her honestly um right, this is a bench that i sit on every day so you know put him in this park in, in, in the look so all you've got to do is just ask us to move the camera around then I'm just waiting for the phone call. It's not alright. But like, you're on my live stream, I want to see you. Well, move. You move then. I can't move. I'm on a live stream. The legs are sitting anyway, so I'm a little bit tired. Come on, I'm asking you now. I know, yeah. And I'm actually applying that. You're going to be online now. I don't care, so. You're ruining it, though. What, do you mean my face is ruining your shot? They wanted to see me in the shot. Now, I will say this. She does have a point. She's like, I was here before you were, and there's a bench right over there. But again, again, I think he's doing this on purpose just because he's tired of all this crap. And I got to be honest, I am too. Um, I'm, I'm in downtown. I'm in downtown Knoxville. And there's a very popular area right downstairs, right around the corner. And every time I'm walking to the gym, literally, well, not literally, but just about every single time I'm walking to the gym, there's somebody, and there's a girl that's dressed up in some sort of an outfit and she's posing. And some have been professional looking photographers. Some have been, I don't know, friends of theirs. Some have been boyfriends. Some I don't know what it is that's sub special about this mural. I guess it's a hot spot in Knoxville. They're always taking their pictures there. And, and, you know, at a certain point you have to say to yourself, look, you're not that important. Like I know you've got some followers. I've got I, some, some have said I have a few followers on YouTube. I'm not that important. And the, 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 the big part about this that really strikes this with me is that here you you do have an older gentleman that's like, look, I'm tired. I'm just going to sit down. Just turn your shot a little bit. And in, in my mind, here she's spending almost three minutes arguing with him, where instead she could just walk up and turn the camera. And I do remember a time, I do remember a time where if, if an older person wanted to sit down and relax a little bit, 
people would stand up and give them their seats. People would, would go out of their way. But here, she thinks she's important enough that she shouldn't have to go out of her way and just wants to argue about it. Look, if you don't like the answer, don't ask the question. Uh, well, I was asking you to be nice, but now I'm kind of telling you. You're in the shop now. You're telling me? And you're it's ruining it. Well. You're not going to want to see an old man start Oh, I'm an old man now. Are you bringing ages into our you know, love? <laughs> so, and one thing I like about this is that... <clears throat> He, he calls her on ageism now, which again is funny. It's like using their own weapons against them. But when she says, um, I was asking you nicely, but now I'm kind of telling you. She's now telling this guy to move. I, I, I have a problem with this. I really have a problem with this. Like just for F sakes, just readjust. I'm just saying. Go back to school. Go back to school. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying that you've been my shot and I'm trying to film when I sit with you on the phone. Yeah, and it's probably. a live stream, this is live. Right. And you're ruining it. Do you mind? Oh, I do mind, yeah. Right. I'm fine. Carry on, man. Well, I can't carry on, Lily, you're in the back Why not? Because you're in the shot, like you can see it. Yeah. You're literally in the shot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. you don't have to do that. Why not? How do you know? What, my what followers, I see? know. What my followers want to you see. follow it? Yeah, oh, you're Jesus now. <laughs> so she says, my followers don't want to see you. And he says, your followers, what are you, Jesus now? You know, the, the, the funny thing about this is this has gotten so many more views and so much more attention if it had just been her own video doing her own thing. What would that get? A couple thousand likes maybe if it's to a if she has a decent amount of following, but instead this has gone viral and has been seen millions of times and liked and laughed at uh, hundreds of thousands of times. So I would say that, yes, actually people really do want to see this gentleman in her shot. Yeah, the followers are all my fitness program. All right, okay. I'm going to want to see you in the shot. What sort of fitness program is it? Following my fitness journey. Oh, you want a journey? Yeah, to get fit. All right, well. It's not fair, is it? Oh. Give him that snowflake brigade. It's not fair. Right. Sorry about this, guys. <laughs> and then she finally gives up. But, you know, here's the thing. Um, whether you think that the guy should have just moved to another bench, whether, um, whether she could have just turned her camera, the whole point is that everybody... Everybody today, all these young young people and old alike, I guess you could say at this point, feel that they, they're influencers, that they want to be popular, that they want to have something important to say. And here she's talking about a fitness journey. She's, well, I don't know, tw young 20-something, maybe late teens, and she's on a fitness journey, and she needs to tell everybody about it. The irony is, I don't know how many followers she has, maybe a couple hundred, maybe even a thousand. The fact is, who cares? Who Who cares? You're not saying anything important. You're not doing anything important. You're not relevant. And no one really cares. And I think that's where a lot of us are getting in society. I know I certainly am. And many of you might even say the same about me. Dude, you don't matter. You ready for this? I agree. I agree totally. I happen to say stupid things on the internet and people show up to listen to it. But if you were to say to me, dude, you're not special. You don't, you don't matter. My answer is... You are correct, sir. I'm, I'm just here doing my thing, and people keep showing up, and here we are. Maybe it's the same thing for her. But the point is she would rather argue with somebody over being in a park, and here you've got an old gentleman that's tired and just wants to sit down, and she won't leave him alone and decides to argue instead. Or, or here you've got a gentleman that is purposefully screwing with her because he finds it funny and it entertains himself if no one else. Either way, I'm fine with it. I actually think this is funny. It, it, it uh, makes me happy. Um, and as a closeout to this, and, and it's, it's been kind of a, new, a slow news day, uh, just as a heads up, oh, let me grab my thumbnail. Just as a heads up, I do want to point out my other video today 
is going to be about South Africa is collapsing. We talked about, I talked about Sri Lanka last year and all this ESG stuff. They did it in South Africa and they collapsed. And I've got some information and story about that as well. So make sure that you turn, tune in to that video. Um, here's the other one that I'll close it out with. And this is an, another one. It, it's kind of been a slow news, news day. So finding things I find amusing and want to talk about has been tough. Uh, but this is a tweet that I found and I shared with everybody. And, and my title simply was, this gentleman just found out what it's like to be married. In 20 seconds, this man found out what it's like to be married. I'll play this one as a closeout for you guys on YouTube. And then we're going to get into a little bit more of the AI stuff that I, I can't show over here because they're bikini clad photos. And uh, I want to talk about it because now they've fixed the fingers and they've, they've ironed out the wrinkles and the details on skin. And it is getting to the point where you can't tell the difference anymore. Uh, so I want to talk about that. And, and it's only been, what, a month, two months since I did that, that story last. All right, we'll leave it with this poor young gentleman figuring out what marriage is like. Can you imagine being stuck like this for the rest of your life? Why? Why can I have that half? Okay, here. But why did you want to give me that to begin with? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's but literally why, the same sandwich cut in half. But why didn't you want to give me that one first? I don't care which one you want. Here, you want this one? Take it. No, I want that one now. Blaze! Which one do you want now? It's the same fucking sandwich. Never mind. I don't want anything. <laughs> something I've noticed with with the internet now and something I've noticed with catching these clips now is that under almost every video, almost every video you see or is, gets posted or gets shared or everything else, everybody keeps saying either A, oh, this is funny, I really enjoy this, or B, it's fake. Everything's fake. Why would he have a camera mounted in the, because I've actually seen people doing this where they will record themselves during the day and then they try to share uploads. And in this particular case, I think this is a couple that likes to share stories or something or other, and they got an in argument. I think he clipped it and uploaded it. But something that's going to be happening more and more, I think, as time continues on between the AI, between everybody wanting to be an influencer and go viral and become popular and have their 15 minutes of fame, there's going to be a point, and it's even happening with news now. It seems to be happening with everything where it's almost impossible to know what's real anymore. What's real, what's staged, what's an honest story, what's a fake story, what's, it's, it's a little concerning because it's going to ruin, it's gonna ruin, ruin entertainment as well. You know, things like this that you might normally think, oh, that, that's actually really enjoyable and kind of funny. Is there gonna be a point where you go, oh, that's fake, uh, everything's fake, uh, everything. It's going to take and suck the enjoyment out of everything. And that's why sometimes when I do these videos, now, especially with some of the things that are going viral, I have to think to myself, is, is this real? Is this staged? If it's staged, it's, it's, you know, it doesn't matter. And if it's real, it's very funny or real, at least interesting and gives you a chuckle. Everything you have to wonder now. Now there are photos that you can go online and it's happening. I don't know if you guys watch, uh, there's a guy, if you watch like Nerdrotic and a critical drinker and some of the other guys, they do videos together. And there's a guy that does, his name's Az, and he does a, um, he does a stream. And when he's streaming with the other guys, uh, his channel's called Heels versus Babyface. I really enjoy it. He's been caught multiple times. <laughs> he's been caught multiple times making comments about women having nice chests or women looking good in a thong only to be revealed that it's actually a guy or a guy that's had some surgery. And for some reason, he, he keeps accidentally walking into it. So now it's a running meme that he likes, he likes the boys that look like girls. And it's a running meme now. But even he's said so many times now, he's like, man, I got to be careful what I'm, what I'm looking at, what I'm, I'm enjoying online. I don't know what, what's real and what's not. What's, is this really a, a dude that's had you know, some implants is this, and that's where we are. I've, I've caught myself wondering that many times when I see a photo, you kind of say to yourself, like, I don't, can I enjoy this? <laughs> Am I weird for enjoying this? Is this really a guy named Brett? 
<laughs> who who had a little bit of plastic done, and I probably wouldn't. I, I definitely wouldn't enjoy the photo if I saw this. And and as has gotten caught in that a couple of times, and that that in and of itself is what's funny about it. But I think as as AI continues and more and more people are trying to go viral and recording videos and things like that. I look at comments and things and it's like nobody believes anything anymore. No one believes what's real. No one knows whether it's funny or not. Some people are saying, oh, this is really funny and I enjoyed this. Other people like it's so staged and fake. It's obvious. How can you even find this funny? Everything gets ruined like this. I think that's where we're heading. I, I think we're going to get to a place where almost nothing is authentic. Nothing is funny. Nothing is original. Nothing can be enjoyed anymore because... I'm, I'll, I'll click over to this photo. I'm going to have to edit the living heck out of this. Actually, let me just zoom it in. I'll zoom it in here. And, and this is one of the AI photos. I can't show anything else in this photo to the YouTube gang, but they've got the hands fixed. They even have wrinkles on the knuckle. And actually, if you look at this hand, it's a little too wrinkly. But the face is figured out. The light sheen is now much better to where you're not getting that super shiny fake look. Now, when I pull this down, if you were to see a photo of it, you might say like, yeah, that looks a little cartoony to me. But, it, but if this is a girl's, you know, uh, profile, you'd probably believe it. Same thing with this other one. Is that, that if this is her, and I, I, I can't pull down any further for the YouTube gang, but if you look at this, when we're, when we're looking at it and analyzing it from an, is this an AI or a real person, maybe you might break it down a little bit, but if you're just swiping and, you know, the image is the size of two or three inches on your phone and it's someone's dating profile, are you going to believe it? You know, what if they don't come across as a bot or which is getting better and better now? And there's a real threat that um, once... Once you can generate video, I mean, just in one or two months since I did my AI stories, they've fixed fingers. They've fixed some of the skin uh, complexions and things like that. We already have AI where you can type, you can give a sample of audio and then type in, and I don't know if you guys have seen the the videos where they, let me see if I can find it real quick, as a matter of fact. Um, all right, I found a, I think I found a, a good video. To, and again, these are voices that you'd know very well, which is, you know, I think Obama, Trump, uh, Biden. These are voices that you'll know. So it's pretty easy to pick them out. But in the same token, if you close your eyes and listen, the the pattern of the speech, the the smoothness of the speech is is pretty good. Now they're saying words that you th these people would never say, but what if somebody had their sister or a friend or they grabbed, I don't know, one a YouTube streamer that's a girl that has a nice voice and they drag that as the 30 second or one minute or two minute sample into AI and then they write a script. And with the script, they can get it to say whatever you want. And then they have AI that you can type in a sentence or a paragraph and generate video out of it. By the end of this year, that's why I keep saying, by the end of this year, all this, you know, all, all this stuff is going to, because just in months, it's making leaps and bounds. I'm gonna play just a second of this. Um, but, but if you're unsure, just close your eyes and listen to the speech patterns, and you're gonna see how much better they're getting already. In uh, the last video, you saw that Trump attempted to grief my Minecraft house, but he wasn't prepared for the surprise that was waiting for him. In today's video, I'm going to try to get a little payback in by griefing Trump's house. Now, again, this has music in the background that I don't know if it's copyright, um, copyrightable or not. So I just keep pausing it a little bit to break it off and throw off the computers. I went into creative mode and gave myself some TNT to blow Trump's house the fuck up. Obama and Ben were also helping. All right, boys, let's start placing the TNT. All right. Now, also, if you look at... Um, they actually have video. Now they somebody put earmuffs and cat ears on top of it. But if you watch the video and actually can catch and watch his mouth a little bit, it's it's moving and he's reacting as if he's saying it. That again, that, that you can dump enough video into this. So what happens when you take a photo or you take video realism, 
dumping a fake AI voice over an A. There's going to be dudes, guys that have 10 fake only friends accounts. And when you text and when you message, it's going to be AI that responds to you. When people say, oh, I, you know, if you donate a thousand dollars, I'll, I'll do a custom video in a, in whatever outfit you want. And the guy says, oh, do something in a, I don't know, a black and white nurse outfit or maid outfit or something. She'll be able to do it. He'll, he'll be able to get the female avatar to do it. It's going to be here by the end of this year. All righty. Yo, Joe. Oh, they did this one with Ben Shapiro, I guess. How do you think Trump is going to react when he sees his house is destroyed? I, uh think he's going to call me sleepy for the 100th f***ing time. It's getting really annoying. Yeah, bro, I feel you. Just because I'm tired all the time doesn't mean he should make fun of me. How much TNT do we plan on placing? Enough to where there's no house left. Homie, don't you think this is going a little overboard? Trump never actually destroyed your base, and it took him a whole year to build this man. All right. Anyway, you get the idea. So... Uh, join me over on Locals. We'll we'll discuss the rest of this uh, craziness over there. And if, if you're on YouTube, um, I don't know. Uh, we'll see you in the next one, I guess. Uh, the next one I'm going to do is about South South Africa collapsing.